you can make mug bread with nothing but a mug, the ingredients, a bowl, you can forgo the bowl if you wish, and a baking tray. It's very, 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 very easy to do. And I'll show you just how easy just now. So you just fill up a mug once, twice-ish, and I say probably about a quarter again of flour. And that's your flour. You then visualize the bottom of your mug and you just coat that in salt. And that's about right. And just add that in on one side. Then you can add your sachet of yeast. And just rub those in. Finally, you can fill up one mug with water. And pour that in. And that should, 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 should be the perfect quantities for a simple white loaf. Just use your hands to mix it all together. No need for any fancy implements. If you use wholemeal flour, add a bit extra water. So as you can see, it's all come together now. I'm just gonna leave it in the bowl for an hour or so just to prove and to get ready and to, for the gluten to develop. And then we'll look at it again and shape it properly. Right, a lot of recipes say to grease your tin. I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna flour my tin. So I'm just gonna do that. And that should, hopefully, all that flour, stop our mug bread sticking to it. And once that's done, just take a wee bit more flour. Now be quite stingy with your flour when it comes to shaping. And then, take your proven mug bread dough, try and remove it from your bowl. I always find it helps to go around the edge first, and then you can reach underneath, stretch it all out, and onto the surface. And then, if you, again, if you're quick, if you fold it all up, gather it all into one coherent piece of dough, then it doesn't get a chance to stick. To shape into a simple ball of dough, you just need to take the side of your dough and stretch it, fold it over into the middle. Take the side of your dough, stretch it, fold it over to the middle, working all the way around several times. As you do it, you'll find it gets harder and harder to do and it's getting tighter and tighter the surface of the dough. And then once it's got so tight that you're not making any difference anymore, turn it over. Now you wanna cup your hands underneath and turn it at the same time and it'll just get that bit tighter and more ball shaped. So we're gonna take our mug bread and we're gonna place it on our well floured tray and just have a wee bit more flour on top for a bit of contrast when it's baked and leave that to prove now for one more hour and then bake it at 210 for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. We're at the final stage of our mug bread. I'm going to score this with my serrated knife and then plop it straight in the oven and throw a mug of water onto the bottom of the oven to create some steam. Okay, so that's scored. So I'm plop this into the oven. Seems there for several reasons. The first is it stops the crust forming during the early stages of the bake, which means the bread can expand more in the oven. The other reason the steam is there is it helps the sugars, which are formed on the crust of the loaf during the proof, helps them caramelize into a more crispy and uh, golden crust in the end. There we are. That's what we're after. You can make mug bread with nothing but a mug, the ingredients, a bowl, you can forgo the bowl if you wish, and a baking tray.